We've all seen those little jars of yummy jams that have made Beerenberg a household name. And from its humble beginnings in the Adelaide Hills, Beerenberg farm products are now found in dozens of countries right around the world. It's been a labour of love for this hard-working family business, now in its sixth generation of the Paik family, with marketing manager Sally Paik. So this all started with Dad making a first batch of strawberry jam. How long ago was that? That's right, in the, in the early 70s he had too many uh, fresh strawberries one day because um, he normally sold them at the fresh fruit markets and so he decided well I'll make some strawberry jam. And whew, look at it now. Well now we export to over 23 countries, we're served in over 300 hotels across, across the world. We have over 60 products. Now we've always called it Berenberg but I understand it's in fact Berenberg. We pronounce it Berenberg because it's a loose translation of the German words Berenberg, meaning berry hill or berry mountain. So we pronounce it Berenberg because that sounds more like the German pronunciation. Well, I have to say, regardless of whether you call it Berenberg or Berenberg, it is still delicious. I have to say, I have been guilty of nicking one or two of those little jars from all over Australia. How, tell me the story of how they came to be produced. Well, John Bannon, who was the Premier of South Australia at the time, in, in the mid-80s, was on a flight from Singapore and he was served English jam and he said in a, in a media interview about something else, he said, well, why, why am I getting English jam on a Qantas flight? I should be getting Australian jam like Berenberg. So Dad got a call from the journalist the next day saying, what are you going to do about this? And Dad thought, oh, I, I, I guess we should do something. So he researched it and after quite some time, a lot of negotiating and in terms of getting the glass and working with Qantas, we got a Qantas contract. And recently, the South Australian Telstra Business of the Year. Yeah, I know, really exciting. We had such good competition and really strong competition. And uh, we came out as winners. So do Mum and Dad look back at the business that they started? Do they look back at, at it now and go, back of me? <laughs> I think so. I think, that, I think they feel very fortunate that it's grown to this size. And also that uh, we employ so many local people. Um, plus the fact that the three children are all working the business and all happy. Now the shop here at Handorf, I know, is exceptionally popular. You must have thousands coming through during the holiday oh, season. Oh, unbelievable. During strawberry season, which is late October through to May, um, we have literally thousands of people and this shop is, is full constantly from nine till five, seven days a week, and it is hectic. And I know for a lot of families, it really is a destination trip into the hills between, as you say, late October to May to um, go and pick your own strawberries. It must be yeah. hugely popular. Oh, it is. And people always say to us, oh, I, I brought my kids up here because I came here when, with my parents when I was a kid. I've got fond memories. It's great. You get out in the fresh air. You eat a few, sample a few, <laughs> not too on many. The to, on the way to the <laughs> register. Yeah, that's right. And it's just a really nice sort of wholesome experience that people are really looking for these days. And it's, it's also, you know, it's not expensive. So the strawberry picking season is just around the corner. It's a great day out for the family. So why don't you head to the hills and have a go? You'll find all the details on their website, birenberg.com.au.